G'day guys, Wayne and Judy here from Down Under. Hello people. So, this wonderful little contraption is we just picked this up the uh, other day. So it was just the actual spinner itself. And, um, and it came with this bobbin with it. So I noticed it had the hole, the orifice through it for spinning. So whether it was a winder, whether it was a cotton winder, what it actually was, but we would say industrial made, and there was only that timber base with it. So we looked at it and we thought, gee, we could make that into an electrical spinning wheel. So we came out, the sewing machine motor, not a problem. So we, What machine is that off for people? Uh, this is off a, uh, probably a Japanese clone, we will say. It's a Wernard, so it's an Australian made motor from about 1960s, 1970s. So, repurposing. Repurposing. So, it had a bracket across here which fixed it firmly onto the um, machine. So, you need something stable for that. So, as you can possibly see, Judy being a preserver, we have lots of... <laughs> Spare Fowler's rings. <laughs> yes, Fowler's rings. So we decided we would get two solid pieces of steel, came out here, we welded the bracket, we fixed it on, and voila, this is what we've come up with. So it's a little bit noisy, so we'll turn it round so I can get a direct... So possibly on a solid bench, it probably would not make so much noise, so that's something we've got to look at. But as you can see here, looking at what we've got here, this is really quite a serviceable spinning wheel. And we all know how much electrical spinning wheels cost. So um, we made the actual bobbin for it. So you can see the bobbin here, which is a wooden one. So we wanted to go to a jumbo wheel, so I thought we'll make a couple of these, but when we ply to, we will actually ply it back onto this, which will probably give us a good size for a ball. So this is our RAG, Rough as Guts, Fowler, Fowler Rubber Propels. <laughs> <laughs> homemade spinning wheel thank you for watching the video